Congratulations on buying the finest, most advanced side arm laser available, the TR Series Laser. Every TR Series Laser installs and functions the exact same way regardless of the model. Here we have a Sky CPX-3, which takes our Arma Laser TR-10. Make sure your pistol is unloaded and all ammunition and magazines are on a separate table. Once we're certain the pistol is unloaded, let's move on to the TR laser. Start by placing the TR portion, which includes the laser and electronics positioned as shown here. You can always pause this video while getting the right orientation. Add some pressure and the laser will slide into place on the trigger guard. The battery housing hooks into this hinge, then swing the battery side housing down to join the two halves together. Screw down the two long screws into the holes, shown fairly tight, while squeezing the halves together. Note the orientation of the battery. Insert the battery door and then screw down the small battery door screw with the screwdriver in your toolkit. That's it. We've just installed our TR series laser and we're ready to start using it. The system is on and ready to detect your grip. Just grasp the pistol normally and the laser turns on. The secret is this gold-plated contact at the point where the trigger guard and pistol grip meet. If you'd like to practice with your iron sights or store your laser long term, you can shut the system down completely by pressing in the gray programming button on the bottom of the laser for two seconds. Then wait a few seconds for the programming to complete. To re-enable the system, just hold down the programming button for two seconds and the laser will start working again. If you prefer a pulsing beam, press in the programming button twice quickly and the laser beam will now pulse. Push the button in twice quickly again to place it back into steady mode. Unlike a pressure switch on the grip, there is no uncomfortable bump underneath your middle finger and all of your fingers are on the same level. Also, there is no little switch to try and find in a dark and stressful situation. Your laser is adjusted before it leaves the factory, but you may have to tweak it to your particular pistol. Starting with the windage adjustment. Insert the hex key into the hole on the right side as shown and turn it clockwise to move the laser to the right. Counterclockwise will move it to the left. For elevation adjustment, insert the hex key into the hole shown in the bottom and turning clockwise will move the laser down while counterclockwise moves it up. Never turn the hex key more than one full turn in either direction. Congratulations again on your purchase and please let us know if we can help in any way.